all right everybody so we're rolling through these episodes and i'm actually really excited about the short form thing i'm definitely going to keep this up but i'm really trying to make sure that i have proper content coming up for you guys so i'm gonna continue to work on everything that i've been doing so far and i'm gonna do it as effective as possible or as efficient as possible so please I, I thank you so much for your listens just stick with me as i continue to make this as you know focused in my life as possible um as you all know i'm currently still working another job so you know it's holding me up from actually dedicating 100 percent. but i'm still putting out content so as long as you're here and as long as i'm able to at least hit you guys up a week um once a week or more uh with certain content i feel like that's a win but like i said i'm trying to do this i'm trying to do daily content now so uh, as i work out the kinks i hope that you continue to listen and work with me leave comments um, any criticisms or critiques you have please let me know um, i appreciate all of it so again thank you and let's get into this episode okay so whenever we're talking about making money as a creator we're always talking about the we're starting with the big ideas and the you know the big um what is it mr b style attempts at success and you know we basically want the empire state building built right now on our little suburban home and we don't have the proper foundation for it if you're a big listener to uh, rich dad poor dad you get the reference but if not just understand that we have to start where we are and it's all about starting it's not about you know having things before we start it's not about the education for real well it's not about the traditional education it's about the drive to actually get the thing done that you want to get done and if you don't have that you're not going to be as consistent as you need to be in order to really drive home the idea of getting big. You're going to continue to stay small because you're not consistent. Everything that pops up in your life is not a tragedy. You do not need to fall by the wayside just because you got a parking ticket. Pay off the parking ticket. Get back to work. All right, you have to focus on your business. If you're not focused on your business and you are giving yourself over to the interests of other people, then you're not going to get what you want at the end of the day. And the only thing you're really going to get is a headache. You're going to end up trying to accommodate everybody else's lifestyle and you're not going to get anything in return for your efforts other than a pat on the back and maybe some little chump change which is going to then get eaten up by the government anyway so it's like what was the point anyway what i mean by that is if you're not focused on your central goal if your main thing is you want to be a rapper right and you say that you know that's just what you want to do out of life then be a rapper go out and do concerts make tracks you know meet people who are interested in your space and focus on every day maybe it's about an hour and 30 minutes a day focus on doing just that be a rapper i think a lot of people get the lifestyle of a rapper mixed up with actually being a rapper and they feel like they can just make the two blend even at the start and that's just not the case you have to be able to separate the lifestyle from the workload you know you have a lot to do and a lot to prove whenever you're you know starting out as a rapper right it's all about status it's all about the attention and all of that stuff like who's really putting in um whoever's putting in the work shows out more than the people who just you know maybe drop a cool track or something and then that's it I mean, you can get viral off of one track, sure, but if you're not consistent with it, then you're just going to be known for that one time you did that one thing that was cool, but now you're you're just a joke now, like, or you your your track has just been used as a meme for like the last ten years or something. 
it's sad, but it's true. I mean, if you're not putting out things constantly, all right, I'm going to put it like this. You're only known for the last thing that you've done. Sorry to tell you. If the last thing you've done was something that you did like 10 years ago, you're not a rapper. You're not an artist. You're not, you know, you haven't been that for a long time. You've just been retired since then. So that's why I kind of push myself to constantly keep putting things out now because I'm like, what's the last thing that I've done? Well, the last thing that I've done now is that short story that's up on my page entitled The Lake, which you should definitely listen to. Earl did a really good job of reading that, and I'm really excited to have y'all listen. Anyway, that's enough self-plugging. What I mean by that is now I have a grounding to where that's the last thing that I've done as opposed to the last thing before that being an episode on horror and psychology which I didn't really like that much I might redo that one uh, but we'll see anyway my point focus on doing that if it's being a rapper put out a whole library of music before you even get to a record label because then they can see that you're actually serious about what you're talking about and you've been doing it for such a long time that when they ask you to just do an example of or show an example of your work you you can basically flex on them like oh yeah i got all of this instead of just saying oh i'm gonna have to hit up the studio man i'm sorry i I like picking on rappers i mean i love the idea and the concept of you know being a wordsmith in that sense but man so many rappers these days are just like (laughs) all right right, i'm gonna stop all right i'm gonna stop i don't want that smoke (laughs) or maybe i do anyway Use a percentage of your income to fuel your pursuits. I mentioned that before with using your money in order to get you to where you want to be. And that's doubly true here with staying small because you are small and you are the only one that's passionate about your project or, or your process right now. So you have to be the one to fund it. Nobody's just going to give you money because you said, oh, I want to be a filmmaker today. Because then the next thing you know, you don't have any true content and you can't expect to get any ROI off of just saying that you are a filmmaker if you haven't put in any work before in order to present yourself as such, which goes back to the other podcast about looking the part. If you're not looking like you belong in the room, then you're not going to be a part of the room. I'm sorry to tell you that, but that's just the nature of how this works, you know, in any sense. You have to be the arbiter of your own success. And if you're not, and the only thing you're doing is just hoping that someone pays you enough attention to where you somehow get one video that you made two years ago viral, I'm sorry, but that's a fail and you deserve to fail. Maintain reputation and don't quit. If you can do it 10 times, then you can do it 100 times. I aimed at making this podcast um, or starting my podcasting um, to hit 10 episodes. That That was my benchmark goal. I said, if I do 10 episodes and I do them on a consistent basis, I release them consistently, then I know that this is something that I can do. And... That was a good start for me to start getting my mind around actually pursuing this as a career um, or actually just putting this content and using this platform for my career. Because really, at the end of the day, I'm a writer. I'll put myself in any writing room and I will do the best that I can in that writing room. But I have to show people that I am a writer and I have to you know and and showing them that I'm a writer and using a platform like this to actually present myself as a writer I feel like when people really see me work and they see my work and they hear my work they they can appreciate the levels that I'm willing to go in order to tell a story and that's just you know where my head is at I'm like if I can show you better I can show you better than I can tell you basically and it'll help them to really see that I'm serious, I'm motivated, they can see proof of my work if I'm working with someone else. But even if I don't get that far, I'm working by myself and I'm doing this for myself and I love it. 
I can't stop doing this. It's like it keeps me up at night. Like I have to calm myself down with anime and um, and Bible scriptures <laughs> just to get to sleep. <laughs> I have the power of God and anime on my side. <laughs> In conclusion, just remember that it's all about being, it's all about starting. Starting It's not just about starting small. It's about actually starting the project. And it's about consistently and doing it multiple times. If you can do it multiple times, right? You, let's say you do knock out 10 of whatever it is that you're doing okay cool now people know you for what that is you know like I tell everybody that I wanted to do short form stories and I wanted to do audio dramas well in order for people to continue to look at me for that form of content I have to put out that form of content or else the only thing that I'm doing right now is just being a podcaster which isn't bad in its own right but that still doesn't show people that I'm a writer that's just showing people that I'm Wesley you know, the other half of that has to come from somewhere. And with me doing content in that format, you know, I feel like that's just a really good way for people to see me as how I want them to see me. But being consistent with it, doing it as often as possible, which I said, I'm going to be trying to release every week. Um, it's not going to be this coming week because my um, I have to still work out my scheduling and all of that. But we're working on it and we're we're getting there. It's just the that's what I mean, like being consistent, building this thing up, making a proper schedule for content release and being on top of the game in that right. You know, that's all that's all part of the process. And that's all of what I mean by staying consistent. And then you'll continue to notice yourself growing bigger and bigger. And that's when you start bringing in more people and people start to see you. That's when you start going to your conventions and start meeting other podcasters. That's when you start going to your local library and you start dealing with other like writing groups and stuff like that. Because then by the time you know it, there's almost what, 10,000, 100,000 people who know your name, subscribe to your channel. And the only thing you've been doing is just what you always been doing, putting out content. So it just keeps on going and keeps on going and keeps on going. It's a timing thing. It's not about how fast it happens. It's all about how consistent you are at doing it. And then the more that you do it, the more and more it grows. And it doesn't. And that's another thing, too. Like for me, OK, I know that for most people, they're trying to do this as a get rich quick, get out of the hood, whatever. But for me, it's a I'm doing this because I know that I don't want to do anything else but this. So for me, the success doesn't matter. I'm not really after money here. And I guess that's a little different because for me, it's all about passion. It's all about showing that I can do something. It's about using my work as a ministry in the church so I can help the young kids have something that they can fall back on, you know, building up skill sets, building up mindsets, helping people grow. That's why I do what I do. I'm not necessarily after the money. If it comes, it comes and it helps if it does come. But if it doesn't, I'm not stopping doing this and no one's going to be able to stop me doing this because I'm going to have my car. I'm going to be in here with my laptop. I'm going to continue to put out content and that's just going to be what it is. End of story. In conclusion, though, just remember to stay consistent, work together with whoever you're working with or if you're by yourself, um, just get your schedule together. Put out your content and let it roll, man. Let it roll. As this one YouTuber, uh, short maker guy says, roll tide. Love that guy, man. Hey, guys. Thank you very much for listening to the podcast. Um, if you wouldn't mind, I'd appreciate it if you left a comment, a like, and even think about subscribing. I will be putting up content like this and other forms of content daily and weekly as far as the short stories and stuff go. So, Stick around and I'm sure you'll have a good time. Thank you.